how did this all begin? How did you get into this? So what happened was I was learning Reiki, which is an energy technique, very yeah. old technique. And in the middle of it, I just became open to be a channel. And so what happened was I thought, well, if I can do this for people, I can certainly do it with animals because I've always loved animals. I was uh, born and raised up in the country, so I had a horse and a pig and a cat yeah. and dog and everything. So all these years later, it's kind of full circle that now I'm working with animals. So do you hear them in your head? So what happens is I get it two ways. Um, first, as an animal communicator, we do uh, telepathic, heart to heart, soul to soul, mind to mind communication. So that's one way. And then as a channel, which I became open to with the Reiki, um, I channel either straight from their spirit or soul, because animals have them too, yeah. or from their spirit guides, because animals also have spirit guides and not necessarily other animals. It could be people as well. Oh, right. Wow. So if they're distracted or if it's an emergency situation and we need to find out something, we can, I can get that from their guides. You, so, um, you say some of them are, are, are quite deep thinkers. They are, and in fact, a lot of times, animals will have a very deep message for their people, and then they remember, oh wait, I'm in cat body. Can I like to play with a toy, or you know, can I have catnip, or something like that. So they have these profound messages. And Do they then get they... frustrated that we just don't hear them? Well, a lot of times, I mean, people are very connected with their animals, so a lot of times a session is we're laughing because the animals can be really funny. Right. So a lot of times it's a lot of laughs. And then uh, sometimes people just say, oh, I thought so. I had a feeling about that. Because oh, we're right. so connected with our animals yeah. that we really do know a lot of times what they're feeling and thinking. And everybody can be an, actually an animal communicator. It's really about just slowing down, taking a deep breath, and connecting. I have okay. never been this close to an <laughs> so armadillo. I have Aren't they either. Peculiar? I'm amazing. Don't say that. So I just, so what I do is <laughs> I'm like cutting my cords and the uh, energy from Flash. And look at this armadillo. Hello. And so I just wanted to make sure I had something to say about armadillo. So I asked earlier yeah. in the green room if she had any questions for Flo, and she wanted to know, I'm sorry, your name again? Lisa. Lisa wanted to know if she was ready to have more babies. Oh. And she said not right now, but she also wants to check out a new uh, male. She? she doesn't um, want the same husband. Oh, really? <laughs> she would like yeah. to try. When did she have her last babies then? It was last year, but now I've got to go back and break it to her, to the news to her husband. But she doesn't What's want him husband? to know. Tank. Tank. Tank, the oh, husband. Tank to her husband. She, she's not sure. She said she wants to see another option. But if, see how she feels. Yeah, and then, but if it doesn't work out, she wants to take. What does she sound like? So let's see. Let's see. I like how you smell, lady. How I smell. Oh, hi. Hi. I, I like how you smell. I think we are misunderstood. Can I have something to eat? <laughs> don't they mostly, don't I've they never mostly, seen when, they're, when, they're, when they're thinking, don't they mostly think of sort of food and sex and... And Sleep protection, and... protection, <laughs> protection. I like to be protected. I like when somebody protects me. Oh. Protection, protection. Oh. I can protect myself, but sometimes it's nice to be guarded. So, uh, so yeah. So there so... we go. That's the that's the rundown on Flo, who so... uh, who's just chucked her boyfriend live <laughs> on television. Um, it's like animal Jeremy Kyle's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fla um... Flash wanted just <laughs> wants adventure and to run around. So let's see what uh, what the the sloth Talita the sloth has right, to let's get has to say. Well, we have Thank adventures. <laughs> Thank you. Now, you oh may God. recognize this sloth from the uh, Durables, actually, this sloth oh has been in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, we're going to come over here and have a look. Hello. Hi. Thank Hello, you so sweetheart. much. Is this a boy or a girl? Barbara. Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Barbara. And is this a boy oh, or a girl? This is a girl. This okay. is Talita. Talita. Hi, Talita. Hello, Talita. You are amazing. And she has to have very special conditions. So, well, the studio is just perfect for her today. We had everything all checked and done. Yes. But she is something else. So, so what does she say? Hello, Talita. So let's see what Talita... So in my process, I just take a minute to connect with the animal. Hello, sweetheart. So I feel like people don't know how wise we are. Just because we move in slower ways, we are wise and don't confuse gentleness 
with weakness. You can be gentle and sweet and also strong. That's so yeah. sweet. So they, they, they think and talk slower as well as moving slower. Yes, but this does not mean I am not wise. Does, does she know she's on the telly? No. Does she like I don't it? know what that means. She doesn't know. <laughs> oh. I don't know what that means. You I don't are know what amazing. That means. Oh, Talita, you blink slowly. Talita. Impart some of your wisdom, Talita. So the blink slowly is, I like you. Oh, I like you we too. We have a connection. It was me. <laughs> we have a connection. Look at that. Amazing. Yes, and it's okay because... She's very calming, actually. When you're near she her, She is it makes very slow calm, down, yeah. And she's reiterating about kindness, though, and to keep people she wants to have it, everybody keep their hearts open yes well thank I you very much hard. indeed very wise. very wise